And here we are again with the OnePlus McLaren. The battery life is not what you think it would be. So we're down to 1%, I have to hurry. This is probably the 6th, actually this is the 10th test I've done. So there's our 1% and 2 hours and 56 minutes. Uh, I'm really sorry, OnePlus, but that's horrible. I contacted uh, YouTube about this, and basically, sorry, <laughs> I contacted T-Mobile about this, and basically what they said is, yeah, send the unit back. So I'm returning this tomorrow, and here's the thing. Uh, in this last test, uh, I've had the device now for, let's see, this is day... Not quite two weeks. It'll be two weeks this Friday. And today I did the test where I turned off the uh, really fancy display. So I went back to, hold on, I'll show you. Display. Oh, well, that's funny. I swear I turned that off. Huh. Well, gonna have to, gonna have to do that battery test again. Yeah, I turned off the 90 hertz display, ultra smooth at a higher refresh rate. How did that get turned back on? Well, that's going to skew the data a bit, but even... Wow, that's really strange. I'll have to look into that. But even when you're running 90 hertz, you should definitely get longer than three hours of screen time. So that's really off. Anyway, yeah, two hours and 57 minutes. This is going to die any second. It says it's going to last till 2315. Yeah, it's not going to last another 20 minutes. Anyway, this is also a 5G phone. The network is just not yet ready. And just, I'm going to do a full review, but real quickly, you know, the main thing is okay, well, what's my opinion of the phone? The phone is great. Uh, the battery life is really not great. Uh, very disappointed in the battery life. And the 5G is just not ready. If I turn off my Wi-Fi, turn on mobile, you'll see the uh, 5G pop right in. Yeah, the, the speeds just aren't that great. Uh, very disappointing, actually. In some cases, yeah, almost double that of LTE and 4G. But for the extra money you're paying for the device, and the other thing is, when I was driving, uh, I did a nice two-hour drive back from uh, southern Utah, and while I was driving, the phone went in and out of reception. But but it, the entire time, it was showing, you know, four bars, full bars, at least three bars, and that entire time I was trying to make a phone call, it just was not working, and I kept getting drop calls, and that was really disappointing. So this is going back to T-Mobile, and I honestly would just wait. Don't jump on the uh, 5G bandwagon because it's not just ready. It's not ready. It's not fully baked. But the McLaren, wow, what a great phone. Camera's great. Uh, yeah, I'll do a full review uh, tomorrow. I just wanted to get this out and let you know that... Oh... And it looks like the letter R fell off my case. Hmm, well that's a bummer. Now it's just the Macla N. Hmm, bummer. Well, I'll let Team Noble know about that little error as well. So there you have it. Battery life under three hours. And yes, that was with 90 hertz running. But, yeah. Also some weird Bluetooth issues with this one. Uh, didn't have this on the 6T by OnePlus. Didn't have it on the 7 Pro, nor did I have Bluetooth issues on the OnePlus 7T. So, yeah, for some reason the 7T Pro 5G McLaren version is a little wonky in battery life. Wow, disappointing. Well, that's all for now. This is PH Digital, hoping you had a very Merry Christmas.